Welcome back garden fans. I wanted to do a greenhouse garden update for February, the beginning of February. Spring is coming. I'm direct sowing some seeds into the yard right now and I'm starting other seeds to companion plant with what I've already planted. So I've got a lot growing on at different times and it's all going to get planted out at different stages. But I wanted to show everybody what I had going on. Pigeon peas I planted just not too long ago are finally coming up, show, showing some growth. And I've also got my companion plants, herbs, and flowers in this other chamber over here. If you all remember my Mount Vernon tour, I actually grabbed some flowers from their site. I'm using an overseeding method. I'll break up these cells later on once most of these plants put on their true leaves. So here's some catnip, some rose campion flowers, lavender right here in the middle looking pretty good. Chamomile is looking strong. And on the back end there, that is uh, garlic chives. So I've got everything tagged and dated so I don't forget. I mean, there's so much going on. Uh, on my lower chamber, Seed starters. These guys were started a little bit later, but it's my oregano, my yarrow, and mountain mint is all down here. Uh, the light cycle I'm using is an 18 on and 6 off. It simulates a very long day, so it's a vegetative cycle. So these plants right now are just trying to put on as much growth as possible. They're not thinking about fruiting or flowering. Um, and this is what I got started inside. I got another greenhouse outside and I'm gonna show you all that one here in just a minute. But before I do, a good buddy of mine, Gary, from the Rustic Garden was having a gnat problem. And you know what, I had the same problem because I got a rabbit in here with manure and vermicompost. So what works really well is the, the black flag fly paper. I'm not one to do an advertisement, but this flypaper works wonders. And uh, I don't, you know, I don't have to spray anything at all. It's a really nice manual control. Um, keep in touch here. Let me go run outside and show you the greenhouses I got outside too. Once again, I got a lot of different stuff growing on at different times. So getting to my outdoor greenhouse, um, I'm kind of using this guy as an incubator. So all the plants that I have in the garage, or if are the seed starters, I bring all the seed starts basically out to this greenhouse to harden off. And I got a lot of, uh, it was two for one deal in my local garden nursery. So I picked up quite a bit of lavender and rosemary, just a lot of the herbs that are pretty tough to grow from seed, but I am growing some from seed. Got some thyme in here. I've got some cuttings here. These are, uh, Citronella. I'm trying to root up from a mother plant. And I've got a lot of elderberry cuttings in here. I had a 100% success rate with uh, my propagation method for these elderberry here. And that's going to be a whole other video in its own. I got a morning glory acid loving flower there in the back. And uh, this green box is just a little bit of clover and there's some bulbs down there. They'll be coming up a little later on in the spring. In the back corner is a strawberry plant I'm going to dump out once uh, temperatures get warmer. But uh, here, here's a you know greenhouse garden update I wanted to share with everybody. Um, 